wonderland. So powerful. So pristine. So diverse. So vast. Shrinking fast. Historically, peat swamps have been thought of as useless wasteland. A dirty, murky place full of hidden danger, fit for breeding colonies of pests. Through the years, because of development, the peat swamp has been cleared and its physical landscape completely altered. All along, project developers thought they were doing good. Little did they realize that the peat swamp forest is a very important ancient ecosystem with specific functions. We're just beginning to understand that. Whatever is left of the peat swamp forest in the world, 60% or over 20 million hectares are found in Southeast Asia, in Indonesia and Malaysia mostly. Malaysia has about 1.54 million hectares of peat swamp forest cover left, and that too is shrinking. For example, in the peninsula, from 0.67 million hectare in 1981, the cover has now shrunk to about 0.3 million hectare. Sarawak and Sabah share the remaining 1.24 million hectares. The peat swamp forest constitutes one of the very important landscapes that fall under the wetland. The peat swamp forest forms behind the mangrove swamp where the river drains into the sea. The trapped sediments and decomposing organic matter start to build up to form a layer of peat. Over time, the peat layer continues to grow to take on a dome-shaped surface, which possesses its own perched water table fed by rainwater. It takes thousands of years for the forest on water to form. And Mother Nature, as the architect, has given the peat swamp forest several vital roles to play. Like a huge sponge, the accumulating peat soaks excessive water from the rivers and streams during the wet seasons and releasing it during the drier periods. As a natural filter, the peat traps suspended sediments as well as airborne and waterborne toxic substances like mercury, arsenic and lead which are distributed in various ways throughout the peat. The peat swamp acts as a huge reservoir of carbon. The decaying vegetation stores the organic carbon in the form of peat. As a natural buffer, the peat swamp forest prevents the intrusion of salt water into freshwater wells in low-lying areas. And finally, it is home and provider of food to numerous species of plants, animals, birds, fishes and a place of cultural importance to the natives. Of course, the peat swamp forest is a potential place for recreation, nature and scientific study. Unfortunately, environmentally unsound practices due to human apathy and ignorance have been threatening the peat swamp forest's physical landscape. Its ecosystem is being altered in a number of ways, such as removal of riparian vegetation next to streams for residential and industrial development, livestock farming, introduction of non-native species such as weeds, non-native plants and fishes which compete with native species, agricultural runoff 
carrying pesticides, fertilizers and livestock manure, changes the nutrient levels and quality of water. Discharge of sediment plume into the river systems. Straightening of rivers for road construction, which results in flooding, leading to changes in sediment deposition patterns. Physical destruction and degradation. Unsustainable logging practices. Draining the peat soil. Environmentally harmful recreational activities, such as motorized boating, hunting, off-roading. To ensure the continued existence of our peat swamp forests, the Malaysian government has identified three sites to show how the conservation of biological diversity and the sustainable use of peat swamp forest can be achieved. Funded by United Nations Development Programme Global Environment Facility or UNDP GEF, the Tropical Peat Swamp Forest Project which took off in June 2002, is developing several approaches and long-term strategies. Scientific studies, zonation of peat swamp forest complex, conservation or core zone, totally protected, sustainable use or economic zone, buffer zone, Ecosystem protection, such as protecting river systems to maintain hydrological regime and water quality. Habitat diversity, to protect critical or endangered species of plants and animals. Integrated management plans and capacity building. Socio-economic studies. Protecting indigenous cultural heritage landmarks. Identifying areas for subsistence use of local resources by indigenous people. Providing alternative livelihood options for local communities over dependent on peat swamp resources. Education and awareness raising. Brochures, booklets and exhibitions. Workshops for stakeholders such as landowners, farmers, natives and decision makers media coverage, forest stewardship programs to educate forest landowners and loggers, site visits, outreach programs in alliance with NGOs and caring corporate citizens, better enforcement of environmental laws and regulations as well as monitoring of all land use activities are key interventions that will ultimately ensure the long-term sustainability of the peat swamp forests in Malaysia for the future generations.